Sony KDL22EX320 LCD TV. This is one of Sony's high end small screen TVs that, at the time of making this video, retails for around about £300 and features their smart TV technology, which allows you to use internet services such as YouTube directly on the TV. So, here you can see the front of the TV, very, very plain design, glossy black around here, which does pick up fingerprints unfortunately as well as a sort of shiny plastic area down here. This doesn't seem to pick up fingerprints as much, probably due to its colour. You also have a nice Sony logo here, and Bravia branding up here. Then you've got your status lights. So you've got your power light that comes on green when the TV is running, standby light which is red, and this light which is a sleep timer LED, as well as your infrared receiver for the remote. On the side of the TV, we find a USB port which can be used to connect an external hard drive allowing recording of the inbuilt free view. There's also a VGA port allowing connectivity of a computer which unfortunately due to its positioning means the cable can be seen coming out the side of the TV. We also have a common interface slot which can be used to install cards to allow viewing of subscription based free view channels as well as an audio out port for connecting headphones. The rear of this TV has fantastic connectivity so what we have on the back is an audio input which can be used for a PC if you've got one connected through VGA, two HDMI ports which is plenty for a, for a small screen TV like this, component video input as well as audio for that, a single SCART which isn't as hugely necessary nowadays but can, but can be good for older games consoles and DVD players, an Ethernet port which is used for the smart TV features to connect it to the internet However, there is also built-in Wi-Fi in this TV, so you don't have to use that. There's also an optical audio output and an aerial connection. One unfortunate thing with this aerial connection is that due to its placement on the rear of the TV and right below the wall mount bracket, it means that if you're using a flat-to-wall br bracket on this TV, it can be almost impossible to install the bracket when, with an aerial connection in place. So that's important to note if you're considering using a flat-to-wall bracket. On the right-hand side of the TV, we find the controls. So from top to bottom we have power, channel up and down, volume up and down, input selector and this one which takes you right back to the home which is the main TV. These are very easy to find and very easy to get with your hand from the front of the TV. We wouldn't normally talk about a tabletop stand on a TV but this TV is an exception. It has very attractive chrome, chrome plated bars that run from the back of the TV right round to the front which is extremely attractive. They also hold the TV very steady. So what we'll now do is take a look at one of the most important features of the TV, its picture quality. Due to copyright reasons, we are unable to show live TV on it. So instead, we'll show a video of Big Buck Bunny in HD being fed in from a PC. So as you can see there, the picture quality on this TV is absolutely fantastic. Colours are extremely vibrant and motion is extremely smooth. Blacks unfortunately sometimes can seem a little bit grey, but other than that it's an absolutely fantastic picture. From that sample you'd also be able to tell the sound quality, which is very good for a flat screen TV. The sound however can sound a bit flat, so if you're planning on watching lots of films on this, you may want to invest in a separate sound system to plug in. However for the majority of TV, its style sounds absolutely fantastic and can go very loud. Now we're going to demonstrate the smart TV features on this TV, which can be accessed by pressing the internet video button on the remote. The smart TV features are then contained in this internet content button. The interface on this TV is very intuitive and is very fast, there is no lagging or really slow loading times, which is really good, it makes a really fluid pleasant experience. So here's all your different features you can get for internet video. We won't be able to demonstrate all of them due to time and copyright restrictions, however I will scroll through them so you can see all the ones that come with it.
There's also music features and photo. And you can also register your device there to activate even more features. One of the features we will be able to show is YouTube playback, which on this TV is very good. You're also able to sign into your YouTube account, allowing you to access your subscription videos. Unfortunately, however, with this, you're not able to see recent uploads from your subscriptions. You can only go under my account, subscriptions, like that, pick the person you want to watch a video from, and then pick their video, which is a bit unfortunate as you can't see the videos they've recently uploaded. However, this could easily be fixed through a software update. You can also search for videos, simply going to new search and typing in. Unfortunately, you have to use the buttons on the keypad, which can take a little while to type stuff in. It can take a little while to type in a search term, but once it's done, it's very easy. Simply hit search, and it'll list all the videos that match that criteria. So like before, we'll just take a quick look at Big Buck Bunny to see the YouTube playback quality. Once the video is playing, you have to use the right arrow on the remote, and then press the enter key to show the video full screen. As you can see, video playback quality from YouTube is absolutely fantastic. If you're noticing any flickering or pixelation, this is just due to the camera f filming the screen. In real life, the vi video is absolutely fantastic, colours are beautifully clear, and motion is extremely smooth. You can also use the controls at the top of the remote to pause, rewind, fast forward, and stop the clip playing. The Freeview EPG on this TV is also very, very good. As you can see, like any EPG, it shows the current program as well as the next program. However, this one can also go up to seven days in advance. So you can cycle right through the days or use the blue and, use the blue and yellow buttons to go back and forward days, which makes it extremely quick to find the program you want to watch. Also, when the TV is displaying a picture up here, a mini TV will be displayed previewing the currently showing program. As well as that, this TV also has a very interesting feature over here, which is a simple bar that demonstrates how far through the program has progressed. So as you can see here, the program is just under halfway through. Overall, this is a very, very good EPG. It's intuitive and is very, very good. The only slight downside is that you're unable to use a mini TV to preview a program before you watch it. However, that's just a minor problem. Other than that, it's very, very good. It's also extremely fast and very nice. We wouldn't normally talk, bother talking about a remote, but this TV has a very interesting design in which the remote is curved slightly, meaning that when placed upside down, it's not possible to accidentally activate the buttons, which is an extremely clever feature. It's very simple, but works extremely well. The remote also has a large amount of buttons, Many of these are used to control the smart TV functionality. However, the remote is not confusing, still feels very comfortable in the hand, and is still a very, very good quality remote control. Overall, this is a fantastic TV. Sound is very clear, picture is beautiful, and the internet TV features are not a gimmick. They feel very, very good, very polished, and work really, really well. The only slight issue is that sound can sound, sometimes sound a bit flat, so if you're planning on watching a lot of films on this, you may want to connect an external sound system. However, generally, the usage of one of these small screen TVs means that the sound is going to be absolutely fine. The TV is also very stylish, looks very good, and has very good build quality. Overall, this is a fantastic TV. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And you can also visit our website at review-this.org.